What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on this Saturday evening, October 3rd, 2020 is the date today. Uh, about 7.40 p.m. West Coast time here. Looking at the Earthquake 3D globe here. Shows the latest earthquake over here around the Puerto Rico area, 2.7. Uh, looking pretty normal there for their activity. California is still rattling a little bit. Uh, we can look at that on a different scale real quick here. Uh, there we go. Seems to always make me want to pause, or wants to pause for some reason. But um, anyway, let's go on, move on. Uh, you can see the activity has died down a lot. Uh, this is just the last 24 hours of earthquake activity in the region there, uh, down by the Brawley Seismic Zone. You can see about 75 earthquakes. Most of them microquakes. I think we did see one. There's one three-pointer there. There. Uh, let's see if we had another one here. I thought we did, but maybe not. So yeah, activity definitely dying down out there uh, in this region. But up to the north here, uh, looks like it's picking back up again around the Nevada area. Also into parts of California there too. Kind of doing a little uh, interesting uh, curve right there. Latest quake over here near Mount Whitney. Mount Whitney is actually a pretty good distance uh, from here. This can be a 2.2 here around the Lone Pine area. Of course, the Lone Pine Owens Valley fault system out here. Uh, very capable of producing a large quake. Back in 1872, it did that exact thing. Uh, and then Nevada. It's kind of interesting to see this little uh, area right here. You got Long Valley Super Volcano. Uh, within this area here, uh, just a little, little microquake uh, popping off in that region, but kind of a uh, little interesting loop right there, if you will. Over here in Utah, a little quake going on. I should say little because a few folks did feel that 4.4 out there near Circle, Circleville, Utah, uh, about 5.7 kilometers below surface. And there's quite a few Did You Feel It reports out there from the area. 4.2, definitely be able to uh, uh, feel that earthquake. Most people should anyway. Um, historical earthquake activity out there. Of course, Utah, uh, they do see some quakes. Not all that common, but uh, definitely uh, does happen out there. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Um, Pacific Northwest, really quiet. And this is the all magnitudes up here, huh? Nothing. Pretty much nothing above the, uh, oh, right around the Northern California area, northward. And that's pretty much the same on this map as well, as far as the trimmer goes. Go ahead and refresh this to show you guys I have the latest map here. No tremor at all being reported by the uh, PNSN network that monitors uh, tremor along the Cascadia subduction zone. So rather interesting there. And actually, if you if you take a look at the general area, pretty much even Alaska looks pretty quiet. I mean, there is some earthquakes up here, but uh, for the most part, with this all magnitudes on here, we should be uh, we should definitely be seeing. A lot more than that. Pretty much, uh, pretty quiet over there. That's for sure. Um, and of course, over here is little active. We've uh, seen activity pick up here over the last 24 hours out here in the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. And some quakes going on up here around the Greenland area. This might be uh, well, a pretty good sized quake right there. Not for sure if this is volcanic related or not. We got about 10 kilometers below the surface for that 5.3. Uh, Yellowstone, real quick. There we go. See a little bit of swarming over here in the Norris Junction region earlier. Uh, earlier this morning, you could see some small microquakes going on there. But since then, activity has uh, appeared to die down quite a bit. Some wind interference over here. That's that wind signature right there. And it looks like that 4.4 that popped up there in Utah also showed up 
on a lot of these seismograph stations there so and that that's pretty normal pretty normal for a 4.4 to show up there even at the distance from um, Yellowstone to um, Utah so yeah I'm gonna make this a short one folks um, got a headache or some kind of cold going maybe not a cold but it could just be the smoke again it's pretty smoky out here in California uh, just not not feeling the best tonight so I'm gonna be the party pooper and go to bed pretty early I mean it's only 7:43 here uh, so I will probably make this an early night stay safe out there everyone um, we will be back here tomorrow hopefully back to 100% until then we will talk to you guys later stay safe